Hey guys, Matt here with Chaos Art. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about After Effects. This is going to be an After Effects tutorial, as you probably see in the title. But um, I'm going to be teaching you how to fade in and fade out. So now that I have After Effects open, you can see fading in, which I spelt wrong, and fade out. Fade. Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here with Chaos Art. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about After Effects. This is going to be a really easy tutorial, talking about fading in and fading out, different objects, text, whatever you want. It could be a whole composition if you want to, trying to go from one uh, clip to another. Very easy to do. So what we're going to be doing is working with a little bit of text right here. You can spell, you can see fade where I spelt it wrong. Fade. There we go. And uh, so fade in, fade out. I'm going to have this one fading out. Pretty obvious. As you can see over here in my effects and presets box, uh, I typed in fade just to see what would come up. You got fade in layer below, fade in plus out frames. That's probably the one you're going to be working with the most uh, to fade something in and out. Um, if you just want to do a quick effects and presets, there's all kinds of different ones you can work with. But what I'm going to be doing is nothing over here and I'm going to be doing it manually. I kind of prefer to do it this way. It's a little bit easier to me just because I can kind of really be exact with how fast I want it to fade in or out. So fading out, I, you can see my little composition right down here. Go ahead and make that smaller. I'm going to click this arrow and it should bring down a menu that would look like this normally. And then just click transform and you have all these little options right here. Uh, this isn't very advanced, it may look like it. Um, the more you get into After Effects, the more you're going to be working with keyframes, and that's what we're going to be doing right here. So you're going to want to go ahead and click this little stopwatch right here, right next to Opacity. And as you can see, where I had this uh, timeline marker at is where that keyframe is going to be at. And it's selected so it's yellow. I want to start at the very beginning, so I'm going to move that there. And what you could do is either click right here, on another keyframe or just move your other one. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one all the way back to here. All right. And on this keyframe, that is specific for this one. If you were to create another one, it would reset. So, what I'm going to do is since this is fading out, leave opacity at 100%. I'm going to move this over to uh 2 seconds. All right. Create new keyframe and drag this all the way down to 0. You could do crazy things and make it like fade in and out like crazy, like it's flashing or whatever. Completely up to you how you want to do that. But uh, if you were to drag this back and press spacebar to start it, you can see it takes about roughly two seconds to uh, to fade out. Very easy. It's a lot easier than trying to use those effects and presets over there. One more time, fade out. And you can affect or you can change how. Um, the duration of your seconds or anything like that in your timeline by this little tool down here you can click the little mountains make it further apart click the big mountains and you can go all the way down to exact frames so if you wanted it to be 12 frames till it fades you could do that go ahead and make this a little bit smaller see I could drop this down to one second if I really wanted to um, with a fade in I guess I will make it one second and I'm going to show you a different way to do it. So go ahead and do fade in. Already brought down the menu for me. And about one second, so I'm going to go ahead and click opacity. It made a keyframe right there. So as this one's fading out, this one will be fading in. But at this point, you can still see it. What we need to do is change this keyframe down to 0%. Now that it's 0%, you don't see it because there's no, nothing there to see. It's completely translucent. So on two seconds, when the other one's completely gone, I will make this one fully in. So this one will fade in a little bit faster than the other one's going to fade out, but it'll be kind of a cool preset, kind of a, a good example. 
So it's what we made. Fade out, fade in. If you wanted them to fade out and fade in at the exact same time, you can just always move your little keyframes to wherever you would like. And try one more time. There we go. Looks good. Um, this can not only be done to text, it can be done to anything, like I said or earlier. You can make a whole nother composition. Let's do composition, new composition. Uh, it's never, it's example one. All right, and uh, I'm gonna put in a box, a bright red box. So we still have this fade going with that one, and we have that one there. So example one, I'm gonna drag this into here on my fade composition. And through here, I'm going to do the drop down menu, just like before, transform, opacity. Let's put that all the way back to the beginning. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. I'm going to just move the box over here, just for example. And uh, once that one's faded all the way in to three seconds, what we're going to do is go ahead and put that right there. Three seconds. It's going to take a second to fade out, and it'll be gone. But, so it'll be here the whole time, and it'll fade out. All right, so you see, fade out, fade in, they do their thing, and then that one goes. I did this on the composition itself. You can do it within the composition. So if I were just to delete these presets, the keyframes right there, and go to example one, I could mess with the shape layer by itself. Just go to transform, and do opacity just like I would before. It would make something that looks kind of like this, which you will see in a second. As you can see, I'm kind of like doing a lot of circles and weird movements with my mouse. It's because I'm not actually using a mouse. I am using a, uh, a tablet right now, and I'm still kind of getting used to it. It's a lot different than I'm used to. So if my mouse kind of seems like it's going crazy, that's why. But, uh... I definitely recommend getting tablets for any sort of designing that you do. They are very useful. So now that you see that I have this these keyframes set up within the example one composition, you can go ahead and go back to fade and play and nothing happened. Why did nothing happen is because inside of this composition we never fixed our opacity so go ahead and make that 100 again there we go and let's start this over again fade in fade out do 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 why is nothing happening it's a good question because I don't know go back here and it's because we didn't fix our keyframes in here so even I make mistakes I'm doing the tutorial and you still make mistakes so just always double check your keyframes make sure you've done everything right now it's a zero fade one more time fade in fade out there it goes so now you don't have to do anything to the whole composition you can just do it to a single object if you wanted to very useful very easy that's how I do most of my fading um, I do use multiple video editing programs but specifically if I was using After Effects I would definitely do it this way with the keyframes you can always do effects and presets they're both very easy to do Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know. I like to read your comments. I like to know your feedback, see what videos you want me to make. This video is actually a, uh, a request from somebody on a separate video. So thank you for your request, and um, subscribe. Let me know. Help me out. Thanks, guys.